music really is a family business for the Escobedos. But while brothers Pete and Coke made their mark playing with Santana and Chile E jammed with the likes of Prince, Alejandro Escobedo chose a much more diverse musical route ranging from punk rock to Texan rock and roll. Well, I came from a musical family, so it's always there. Yeah, I think eight of us are musicians out of 12. My older brothers are Pete and Coco Escovedo, and they play with Mango Santa Maria, Tito Puente. But I was, I was reluctant. I didn't start playing until I was 24. Burning down the halls of San Antonio. Don't ask me for a dime, I'm just hanging on. Hanging on. I had started out in punk rock, so, you know, you're speaking to a person who's always been very proud of his culture because of my father being from Mexico, but never wanting to be defined by my culture at the same time. And finding that even though, you know, I come into this as a rock and roll singer, that like my records would never be in the rock and roll bin, you know, in record stores is what I'm saying. When my records came out, they were in Latin, Mexican, world B, everything but rock and roll, purely based on my name. You know, and I could have changed my name, but I didn't want to. I'm still king of this whole town. Can't make me run. Make me run. With each record, I get more confident. It's 12 records now, you know. As I've developed my skills, I've uh, found that I can venture off into different styles of music, you know. My new record's called Big Station. It's got everything from Savora Mi to a song like Man of the World that opens the record, which is kind of trenched in like a 50s, almost Ramones, punk rock kind of thing. And everything in between. I think of myself as a rock and roll songwriter, you know? And after decades of performing, Alejandro's legacy was put in the spotlight when a group of musicians decided to honor him on a compilation record to benefit his fight against hepatitis C. I'd always done benefits right from early on. We did, you know, one of the first gigs I ever did was for the coal miners in Kentucky. So when this happened to me, I didn't want to be the guy who people were doing benefits for. So to have that kind of respect and love and, and support, I mean, it's really humbling, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been a wild ride, these 35 years in bands, and it's taken me places I, I never dreamt I would go. It's been a very wild ride.